Self practice 9.8, questions number 1. The diagram on the right shows a triangle ABC such that AB equal to 5.4 cm, AC equal to 6.1 cm, and BC equal to 7.3 cm. Calculate the area in centimeter square of the triangle ABC. So here the length of three sides in the triangle ABC has been given. Therefore, we can find the area of ABC using the Heron's formula. So first, we are going to find the semi-perimeter, which is the S. So this is equal to 5.4 plus 6.1 plus 7.3 divided by 2, which is equal to 9.4. So the area of the triangle ABC will be equal to square root of the semi-perimeter, which is the 9.4 times 9.4 minus 5.4 times 9.4 minus 6.1 times 9.4 minus 7.3 so the answer is equal to 16.14 here we can also solve these questions by using the formula 1 over 2 ab sine c so we just just need to find uh, one angle inside the triangle ABC here. So let's say the angle that we want to find will be the angle B. So this angle B is opposite to the length AC. Using cosine rule, 6.1 square equal to 5.4 square plus 7.3 square minus 2 times 5.4 times 7.3 cos angle ABC. So cos angle ABC is equal to 5.4 square plus 7.3 square minus 6.1 square divided by 2 times 5.4 times 7.3. So the angle ABC will be the inverse cos of the answer here, which is equal to 54.98 degree. So now in the triangle ABC, we have two sides and one included angle. Therefore, the area of the triangle ABC will equal to 1 over 2 times 5.4 times 7.3 times sines 54.98 which is equal to 16.14. Questions number two. The diagram on the right shows two triangles, EFJ and EGH. EFG and EJH are straight lines. Calculate the area in centimeter square of the shaded region. To find the area of the shaded region, we are going to use the area of the triangle EHG minus with the area of the triangle EJF. So based on the diagram, the length of JF and HG are equal to the length of EJ, which is equal to 5 cm. For the triangle EHG, the length of three sides are known. Therefore, we can find the area of the triangle EHG using the Heron's formula. So here the length of E to H will be equal to 5 plus 6 which is equal to 11 centimeter. And the length E to G will be 9 plus 3 which is equal to 12 centimeter. So first we are going to find the semi-perimeter. It will be 11 plus 12 plus 5 and then divide it by 2. So the answer is equal to 14. So the area of the triangle EHG will be square root semi-perimeter times the semi-perimeter minus one of its length. Let's say this one is 11 and 14 minus 12. Another one will be 14 minus 5. The answer here will be 27.495. For triangle EJF, 
the length of three sides also given. So we got to find the area of the EJH using the Heron's formula as well. The semi-perimeter of the triangle EJF will be 5 plus 5 plus 9 divided by 2, which is equal to 9.5. So area of the triangle EJF using the Heron's formula will be 9.5 which is the semi-perimeter times with 9.5 minus 9, 9.5 minus 5 times 9.5 minus 5. The answer will be 9.808. So the area of the shaded region will be 27.495 minus 9.808. The answer will be 17.687. Questions number 3. Mr. Semi wants to paint the wall of his room. He draw a triangular shape on the wall and he will paint the triangle with green paint. The shape of the triangle is shown in the diagram on the right. The length of the sides of the triangle are 2x cm, 3x cm and 4x cm respectively. The area is square root 135 cm square. Finds the value of x. So here we want to solve the x by using the Heron's formula. So first we are going to find the semi-perimeter of the triangle PQR which is going to be 4x plus 3x plus 2x and then divide by 2. This will be equal to 9x divided by 2 which is 4.5x. So to get the answer of the area triangle PQR equal to the square root 135, it will be the square root of the semi-perimeter which is the 4.5x times 4.5x minus 4x times 4.5x minus 3x times 4.5x minus 2x. This will equal to the square root 135. So next on both sides, we are going to square it. Therefore, the square root will be cancelled. So next on the left hand side, we are going to get 4.5x times 0.5x times 1.5x times 2.5x. This is equal to 135. So when we multiply the number on the left hand side, the answer is 8.4375. And when we multiply all the x together, we will get x to the power of 4. So next, we are going to move the number 8.4375 to the right hand side. It will be x squared equal to 135 divided by 8.4375. So x to the power of 4 here is equal to 16. So for the number 16, we can write it in number in base 2, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. So now both sides are having the same power. Therefore, we can just compare the base. Therefore, the x is equal to 2.